You know, actually, our first topic is pretty timely, to be honest with you, because I had a text uh, back and forth with the Malda president, Eid Ali. How's it going? What's happening? You know, he keeps me posted of what's going on. Um, and uh, our driver brothers and sisters in Minneapolis, you know, they have a dollar forty and fifty one coming their way yep. as of May one, um, unless Uber and Lyft decide to leave and they have nothing coming. Uh, <laughs> but um, I'm hopeful that still there is time to sit at the table and make some sense out of all this nonsense. And um, so, yeah, let's get going. All right. So, but uh, for those who aren't familiar with what he's talking about. Uh, Minnesota has put into law that they are going to have a uh, time and distance rate that is going to be a dollar forty and what, what was it fifty one cents fifty one minute yeah, yeah fifty so fifty one cents per minute and it was vetoed again by the mayor which was overwritten by the um, the the whole uh, city council the city there council, yeah. they and, overwrote uh, it. Yep. So basically it's Minnesota and Uber and Lyft are crying foul and, um, you know, just being big babies about it when they're like, Oh, I don't want to pay for it. So we're going to leave. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? Well, you know, uh, I actually, I did talk to a couple of Uber folks and, uh, I told them flat out, I go, you brought this upon yourselves. Mm -hmm. If you keep paying people peanuts, see, they're going to find some friendly city councils and this is going to keep repeating all over the country. You guys better get used to leaving everywhere <clears throat> because there are enough city councils that are friendly to driver causes and they're going to do this. I mean, look, we didn't come here because everything is great. OK, um, if pay wasn't, to, you know, peanuts for the risks that we take every day, putting 20, 30 people in our cars. Look, if, was anybody complaining about pay like five years ago, four years ago, and then up, upfront fares got it all out of whack and we keep pointing things out constantly. And I told him, I go, look, man, you brought yourselves here. So now your duty is instead of, you know, putting your tails between your legs and leaving and all you have to then crying foul. I get it. I'm thinking for all stakeholders here. Okay. The riders obviously are going to be stranded and uh, whoever's going to come in is not going to be able to take over. I mean, they, they built this massive marketplace there. I mean, you got to give these companies credit. They have massive amount of drivers who depend on them for income and there's massive amount of riders, but the way they're playing the game has become completely ridiculous. And uh, now they're getting the pushback. I mean, you know, this is like uh, on the freeway, you do a brake check, you know, this is a brake check Uber and Lyft. Yep. Um, although, well, you know, you know, you know what's wild though, how they actually claim, oh, we worked with, uh, this place to bring legislation, California, prop 22, uh, Washington for the Washington, Seattle and all the rates there, New York state, New York city and all this. And they're, they're like touting it. And then, you know, if, if another little area comes by like Minneapolis and they're like, oh, uh, we're going to start instituting something as well too. Then they cry fouls. And, and, but before they're like, well, you know, we, we need to make changes, but we need the legislation to do it. So when the legislation comes and they cry foul, come on. Yeah. I mean, look, it, it's, it's, this is, you know, Minneapolis, I mean, there is a study out there, 18 million trips were done in 2022. They have about 10 to 12,000 drivers in the state of Minnesota. It's not a massive market for them, but it's still a market, right? And then, but this is going to repeat. I mean, I know it's coming. You know, it's not a secret. You guys can Google it and read it yourself. Chicago is coming. Boston is, I mean, Massachusetts is coming. Portland, Oregon is coming. I mean, look, there's a lot, enough cities out there that, you know, we started fires on. And um, again and again and again, this is all up to them doing what they did. If you want somebody to drive for 60 cents a mile while the IRS deduction is 67, I can't do this for a tax write-off. I need to make money, pay my bills, and have a profit margin. Uber, remember who I'm talking to now. Just like you guys have a take rate, we have to have a take rate, okay? And then, you know, Lyft actually kind of compromised and says, well, we take what the state study said, 89 cents a mile and 49 cents a minute. Well, Lyft, that's on only active time, Okay. And uh, Minnesota average utilization rate is 62%. How, with that 62%, how does that 89-49 look? Pittens again. So I kind of do agree that buck 40 51 is too high, but I think they're hopefully, hopefully there's going to be a middle ground that they can sit at the table and, and finish this. Um, and they don't leave and people don't go hungry. I mean, look, you know, yes, there's two companies actually I'm in direct contact with. One is Rides. 
um, by Steve Wright. Um, you know, he already Maybe applied for earlier. the, yeah, he applied for, you know, PNC licensing in Minneapolis, 50 grand each. I mean, he's putting his money up. He's spent 300 grand so far. He's serious about playing with the big boys and I'm going to assist him every single possible way I can. Um, he's a great guy. We had him on the show, as you know, Chris, and, uh, competition is good time to play with the big boys if it's time to play with the big boys we're going to go in and play with the big boys and if steve needs my help with anything which he knows i'm here for him and i'm very close with malda and the president and all those two thousand drivers that are in that you know uh association um look we can get the drivers we you know we, we're not going to replace uber and lyft tomorrow but we can we can take a good chunk and good you know good good chunk of the market and we will provide services um there is one and in drive is the second one in drive is much much stronger more deeper pockets but it's more corporate you know steve is steve's company is a family-run company so buck stops with him he makes the decisions he calls it and he goes in right in drive it takes a lot more they have ceos cfos all the kind of layers of uh, management but they're ready to move in and there are many other companies as we see in the news and mayor frey you know yesterday I think he was drunk yesterday when he came on and did that news conference with 50 people behind him and a couple of people in wheelchairs. He goes, what is this? He goes, do we have to have minimum wage in every industry? Mayor, breaking news. We didn't want the minimum wage. We want to make more than minimum wage, Mayor. Yeah. That's the whole point. Doing mm -hmm. minimum wage and driving Uber and Lyft is dangerous at best. The risk yep. reward is not there, Mayor. So don't be just go yakking over there saying, you know, for a photo op, I'd rather have know. an earnings floor, meaning you can't go below that. Yeah, you can go yeah, well above exactly. that, but you can't go below that. Exactly. But, I mean, he did hundred percent right there. How's yeah, that, that, that? That's the perfect question. Yeah, answer that Uber. I mean, tomorrow or next day, right? You can talk about it. <laughs> exactly. I mean, look, man, how's a dollar fifty-two high when cabs are charging? You know, two seventy-five, three twenty depends on where you are mile absolutely and you know what it is you know what it is buck 40 and 51 chris is probably where i started well actually lower when i started in la you know my rates were like buck 25 and 35 and we're talking 2016 eight years ago we're literally yep. one what we, well, what I, we had I, in 2016 i mean i came, well, across, well, I came well. across this thing in on x or that i posted on x uh, about the the rates in 2014 so this was two years before both of our time um because yeah. you and i both started in 2016 Here's the base fare was 235 current. Uh, and then they were going to, th this, they started doing this 10 years ago where they were cutting rates because uh, they were talking about the, the new and current rates. So the current pricing at the time was 235 per minute was 24 cents per mile was $1.65. Uh, safe rides fee was a dollar. Minimum fare was $4 and the cancel fee was $5. Then they there went down to 210, 20 instead of 24. A dollar twenty-five a mile instead of dollar twenty dollar sixty-five. A dollar four and five. Yeah. So I mean, look, the, 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 I, I personally have four or five rate cuts. If you can, up front is five. Yep. Um, to me, oh, I do. We're asking for what we were earning in two thousand sixteen. I mean, actually, we should be asking for more. But let's say we're not. But the point I'm trying to make is inflation is hurting everybody. We have expenses. Mm -hmm. Our expenses have gone up. All I'm saying to you is that. These companies go like, yeah, minimum wage is fine. We agree. Lyft said that. 89.49 was the study that they came up with, the state study, which was done for the wrong year, 2022, the highest earning year ever for every Uber and Lyft driver. But whoever, did, that's, a, that's a mistake altogether. But Lyft goes, yeah, we agree in 89.49. Lyft, remember your 70-30 little uh, hocus pocus guarantee thing happening there? I mean, we need to have a margin. The reason you did that, you have a margin. What did you do? You took external fees out of the passenger fare and then did the 70 30. Well, we, we, we need to do the same thing, right? That's, I mean, that's called I mean, playing a game. Yeah. So to me, it's like, look, man, you know, I, I'm hoping they don't leave because, look, if they do leave, drivers have nothing, right? The, the rides and in drive and moves, and there's other companies, there is a um, statewide solution, maybe, you know. But look, all I'm saying is that Uber and Lyft are not going to be replaced overnight, but competition is good. So if there is ride share companies out there who are new or startups, you guys need some guidance, you guys need some, you know, strings being pulled, Sergio at the rideshareguy.com. I'm all for playing with the big boys. Let's see what they're made of. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, they, they can talk all they want. I mean, look, I understand it's not cheap to start these things, but uh, 
we're willing to play the game. So that's what's happening in Minneapolis. So Mayor Frey, with all due respect to you, yesterday's news conference was what an absolute like? disaster. Disaster. I didn't watch it. I, I'm going to have to well, watch, you can this. watch it. I think I think he was, he was like, Hi. No, bro, you should watch it. And <laughs> he literally, he lit. Okay, he's standing in front of people, 50 people who are supposedly supporters of, for Uber and Lyft not leaving, right? Because they need the services, to go to doctors, they're them wheelchairs, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah. Right? What yeah. happened to that? What happened to the grandfather? Uh, grandfather. Yeah, that's my grandfather. Your grandfather died, Mister Gambit. That's what happened. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So smart. So what I'm living saying, off rental income. Um, there you go, man. Uh -huh. There you go. Uh, that's why Chris is going to LLC do. commercial insurance. Yeah, that's the only way yourself. if you're going to do this. If you're going to do that, Look, that's here, the only here's way. the big thing. Here's the big thing. You had a job, and Uber and Lyft were great as side hustle. Still good as a side hustle, Absolutely. but I wouldn't put my faith in it being a main player as, as your main source of income. You have to diversify, and that means food delivery. That means you know package delivery like Curry or Brody or some of these other apps that are out there. Or, you know, like I just highlighted with the comments, rental income, LLC. Well, I, don't about, like, I don't know about 14 pay cuts, but there definitely have been at least five that I know of in L.A., but the point is, all of, in all this, Mayor Frey, with all due respect to you, you actually insulted the people that were supporting you, that were standing behind you, Mayor Frey. I mean, if you want to come on here, we can absolutely discuss this. And I will send you an invitation, actually. I know how to get to you. Um, he said, what is this now? Everybody is going to ask for a minimum wage? No, no. No, Mayor Frey. We're not asking for a minimum wage. We're no, asking for a minimum to... wage plus a margin. Okay, Mayor Frey? All right. Look, the, the biggest thing, last thing I'm going to say about this is oh, minimum fuck. wage, whether it doesn't matter what, what side of the aisle you lean on, minimum wage is something that shouldn't even be around, in my opinion, because let's look at what's going on in uh, California with the $20 minimum wage. Uh, you're, yeah. you're just creating this, this net and casting it and then just bringing everybody to a minimum wage. Um, and you know, it, it's proving that it's not working properly. So, uh, yeah, it, to me, honest, I, I think it's a problem, but the problem but is minimum, there minimum needs to be for earnings. employees, minimum wages yeah, for employees there needs to be an earnings floor. Yeah. There has to be some sort of earnings floor. The biggest thing, the biggest thing though, is too, that we need to figure out is y y we are not independent contractors and we're not employees. We're, we're something yeah. in between. Something there needs like to be that. a hybrid model. And there needs to be something that needs to be worked out, figured out, found out, and then everybody can kind of can kind of agree upon. I but, mean, look, Chris, Chris we you know, we, you and I have been in RSG for a long time, right? We run our surveys. What are the top four? Earnings always number one, right? Mm -hmm. Number two is safety. Number three is on just the activations. Number four is support. Always. I mean, literally. I mean, they kind of interchange once in a while when support really sucks, but but then earnings <laughs> have always been number one. A lot of people oh, yeah. say. You know, Uber and Lyft kind of saying that, well, yeah, people are doing this on the side. You know, retired folks are driving. No, no. That doesn't mean anything. You have 20% of the people doing 80% of the trips. That's, yeah, those but, are but grinders. The those, thing is, th those are arguments that are that shouldn't even be brought upon. This is, because they go like, well, retired people want to get out the of the house. No. It's like, yeah, but here's the thing. Whether they're doing it on the side or not doesn't shouldn't play into effect on yeah. how much you're making or how much you're able to earn. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm, I'm I not care, disagreeing. I don't care if you're out there working five hours a week, or Just if you're both doing sides, it talking hours both a week. sides out of their mouth, bro. Always, they're always talking both sides out of their mouth. I'm like, look, either it's this or this. All I'm saying to you guys is that if you did not lower the incomes of people who do this full time, specifically, who are the bread and butter of your platforms, because twenty percent to eighty percent of the trips, you need to understand that. We are not here because we want to be here. I'm not mm -hmm. a huge fan of the government. I said this a million times already. I can say it another million times. My thing is that, though, if this is the break check, right, that you guys need, this is the one. If legislation is it, then be it. Because anything else, you guys are not listening. You guys keep cutting rates, doing the hocus pocus, doing the shaving, doing this, doing that. E e e enough. So that's why we're here. So don't, you know, we'll talk. But yeah. I, I'm, so, I'm, and, and you thing, know what? I had an actual interview with CBS Minneapolis yesterday, and the guy says, Why do you think the whole world is following this? Good question. I said, Because this is ground zero. Mm -hmm. Because if they do leave, this is the playbook. 
that every union or every association, every driver group needs to follow city by city, state by state. When did we say that, Chris? Six months ago on the show. City by city, state by state. Look what's happening. That's what's happening. So the guy goes, why is everybody following this so closely? It's because I go, it's real. It is ground zero. Mm -hmm. This is make or break. And whatever happens here is going to happen many, many, many more times now. And to, to us, this is really, I mean, I take my hat off to the Malda people and then the city council because this was brought upon, you know, the blame game is, is on them, on Uber and Lyft. Yep. If you pay people fairly and if you don't increase your take rate out of control, what Mr. Gambit said it used to be 80-20, now it's 50-50 at best, if not worse, right? Who is it on? Well, I'm not deciding that what the passenger pays. You are. Right, and I'm not deciding what I make. You are, so when you're controlling both sides of the marketplace, and when shit goes sideways, don't come crying, or give me the right to name the price of the job for myself. Treat me like a true independent contractor. Then none of this will happen. None of it. You know what I mean? So there you go. Yep. Or we could just bring the uh, the the rate multiplier, and you can't go below below one. You have to. Whatever, you can go up to five. <laughs> And then you do that. But um, all I have to say is if you're in the city of Minneapolis, uh, just make sure you guys have your backup plans in the event that May 1st rolls around. And for some reason, they actually do leave. Um, I don't think they are personally, but, uh, you know, there is always that chance. I'm going to say there's probably about a 75-25 split is where I'm at at the moment. Um, yeah. But, yeah, just make sure you have something in backup uh, in the event well, anything does happen yeah. uh, where I mean, they do leave. If any of you are in Minneapolis or, you know, St. Paul or state of Minnesota, Sergio at the rideshareguy.com. You guys want to sign up with these new companies that are coming in. I'm affiliated with them. Full transparency. Um, I, and and I, I'm telling you, you, you know, you guys have a house. Just go download the app. It works exactly like Uber and Lyft. System is a little different. Pay is definitely going to be better. Um, I'll steer you guys the right way. I mean, if you're in there, um, you don't have to make nothing. You probably will make less than Uber and Lyft until these companies establish themselves, but at least you have a backup plan. And yeah, uh, you know, we'll see. I mean, what is today? It's the ninth. We have 21 days, 22 days. My, you know, I, and the guy asked me that yesterday. He goes, what is your crystal ball saying now? Because a month ago I was like, cooler heads will prevail 50-50. Now I'm actually, I'm kind of your camp. 70-30, I told them. 70-30, they're going to leave um, because nothing else is happening. Everybody's, you know, this is where we're at a Mexican standoff here. <laughs> Everybody's mm -hmm. staying at their corner. Nobody's coming to the middle, um, but we'll see. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.